Let's do a little sig fig review just to make sure you know what's up. Okay? This will be a just real quick video. First, you should be able to count how many sig figs you have in any problem. And again, the reason we're doing this is because students get crazy confused on it. First of all, you see this? You just count the number of digits. So two, you should count two sig figs here. I'll put two SF. And for 183, there's three sig figs, or three digits there that are significant. Okay, the number of digits listed are usually significant. However, let's take a look at that first number again. Uh, if I write it out, it's the number 20,000. All right, if you just saw this number without that information, you'd say this only has one sig fig because of the two, okay? Uh, it does not have five sig figs. But because I wrote this down knowing it came from here, really, and I'll underline it, it has two sig figs because of this. Again, if I saw this number without any other information, I'd say it has one sig fig. Because I'm writing the 20,000 from this number, I know it has two sig figs because this has two. The 183 just has three. Now, let's try a little multiplication uh, and subtraction. First, for the multiplication example, uh, most people are okay with this. When I calculated this out on my calculator, I got 3.66 times 10 to the 6th. Okay? However, you're multiplying something with 2 sig figs times something with 3 sig figs, so you take the lesser of the two. In that case, the answer should have 2 sig figs. So this is really 3.7 times 10 to the 6th is your final answer. Okay, the tricky one really for most students is this one. Let's try it. Here's how I do it, and there's different ways to do it. 20,000, I write it out, minus, and I line up the decimals, 183. Okay, now remind yourself, this has two sig figs, I'll underline them in blue, and this has three. Okay, I know the way I wrote the 20,000, it looks like there's only one, but I know it's from this number. So 20,000 minus 183, let's do that. I did that on my calculator, and I got 19,817. So that's the numerical answer you see in your calculator, but that's not to say the correct answer according to sig figs. Here's how I do it, okay? You look at the one with the most error. So, for example, 183 has the most error or the last significant figure in the ones position, okay? However, this one has its error in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands position. That means this will have its error in the thousands position. Or what I do is I find the last sig fig and I draw a line, and then the sig figs here are only the ones on the left of the line. Or, in other words, the error is in the thousands position because the error here is in the thousands position. Or again, the last sig fig is in the thousands position. That results in where the error is, so I must round to this number. So what do you get? It's really weird, I know, but it's just 20,000 again. Okay? How many sig figs does it have? Two. The two, the thousands and the tens of thousands position. So, you would write, to show two sig figs, you must write in scientific notation 2.0 times 10 to the 4. Uh, I know it's funny because you get the same answer that you started with, but I need two sig figs when I do the subtraction. Alright, that's it for now.